This is a nonfiction book about goldfish. We're going to get a lot of our facts that we need to learn about goldfish from this book. So I'm going to start reading it today, and then we can maybe add some of this to our new learnings. All right? This book was written by Clive Harper and Beverly Randell. So they must have both did. And a lot of these um, nonfiction books, the pictures are real. They use real photographs in nonfiction books. Um, so you'll see a lot of pictures of real fish in here. Oh, table of contents, what goldfish look like. Goldfish live in fresh water. Goldfish need clean water. Feeding goldfish. Water has air in it. Baby goldfish. Oh, even baby goldfish. This is going to be a great book. All right, let's go ahead and start with the first chapter. Oh, we're going to get a lot of good information. What goldfish look like? Most goldfish are gold or orange or red, but some are black and some have spots. Hmm. Young goldfish are little. Old goldfish are bigger. Some goldfish have big wavy tails and some goldfish have big wavy fins. There's a question. Is that a goldfish? How many of you think it is? I don't. Put your hand on your head if you think this pink, right here in the pink, that fish is a goldfish. Hand on your head. Let's see. No, it is a shark. That's a shark. All right, let's finish reading this book. A goldfish has a tail. It has one big fin on its back and little fins underneath it. Its fins and its tail help it to swim. Let me read that again. Its fin and its tail help it to swim. A goldfish has two big eyes. It has a mouth that opens and shuts. It has gills. This is an old goldfish. It's about five years old. How big is it? Measure it. So we have to measure this. I could get my ruler. Let's see how big it is. I have my ruler right here. So this is a realistic picture of a goldfish. This goldfish is almost 12 inches long. Did you see that? 12 inches long. All right. One foot. 12 inches is one foot. That is so cool. Look at that. This is a real picture of a goldfish. Mrs. Severite used to teach kindergarten, and she would take the goldfish that we have, and she'd put them in her pond in her backyard. Well, she had like a, a man-made pond, so then she'd have to take them out in the winter, and she would bring them into her house in a big tank, and they would get big. All right, let's read the next question. Do goldfish have tails? Hand on your head if you think it's correct. Yes, goldfish have tails. All right. Goldfish live in fresh water. This is a goldfish pond. A big old goldfish needs a big pond like this to swim around in. The water in the pond is fresh water. Let's talk about that. Um, that's what I have spring water from our goldfish that's in the tank right there. Um, fresh water is not salt water. Raise your hand if you know what kind of water has salt in it. You're right. An ocean. Oceans have salt. Ponds, lakes, rivers, fresh water. Or um, water that goldfish can go in. Goldfish cannot go in the ocean. They would die from the salt. Some fish and animals can be in salt water. They were made to be able to be in salt water, but goldfish can't. They need fresh water or spring water. All right, it says fresh water right there. <laughs> this is a goldfish tank. For little fish, all goldfish live in fresh water. They do not live in salty seawater. Do goldfish live in the sea? Well, they just told us that. What do you think the answer is going to be? No. See at the bottom of the page here, it says, no, goldfish do not live in the sea. Goldfish need clean water. 
Water in a goldfish tank has to be clean. And remember, I told you one of the ways it gets dirty is if you put too much food in it. So you only give them so much and no more, otherwise the water gets dirty. Water snails help to make the water clean. Water weeds help to clean it too. Oh, that's interesting. So weeds and snails help to clean water in a goldfish tank. We only have a goldfish bowl. Do goldfish like clean water or dirty water? Clean water. Nobody likes dirty water. All right, we're going to stop there in the book. Your assignment for today is going to be the diagram of a goldfish. I'm going to take a picture of this, pic this page right here, and you're going to use it to do the diagram of a goldfish. The diagram is in your brown bag that Mr. Antel and I delivered. There is a sheet of paper that has a goldfish diagram. You need to color it and you need to do the seesaw page where it says color it and um, label it. Okay? Have a great day and we'll finish this book later.